The 17th season of Heartland is winding down quickly, and we are now at the 17th and last episode. Fear is a Liar is the name of this one, and it has three primary plot points. Tim faces unexpected family dynamics when Miranda arrives early to assist with Shane and Chloe's wedding, while Amy and Nathan rehabilitate his horse. Jessica, meantime, has a breach with Jack that she must mend. Miranda does, in fact, make an unexpected return in the last two episodes of Heartland's 17th season. After an extremely lengthy absence, Nathan has returned as well, joining Miranda in her comeback. Let's take it one step at a time. The last time Miranda was on the program is something I really can't recall. Perhaps season 6 was the one. The comments section is where you may tell me if I'm mistaken. You are aware that the Heartland Ranch will serve as the site of Shane and Chloe's nuptials. It was early in the season when they made that choice. Miranda shows in ahead of schedule to provide a hand with the setup, it seems. The first time Tim meets Miranda after all these years, he is rather astonished. That's not because he had no idea it was coming. Miranda, Shane's father, was previously informed by Shane that he would attend the wedding. Reason being, Tim most likely wasn't anticipating her arrival at that hour. What I want to know is how their interactions play out. Actors who played Miranda and Jessica in the behind-the-scenes photos looked really stunning. Will Jessica and Miranda get along? I'm curious. As someone who enjoys revisiting long-lost characters, I can't wait for this episode to roll around. It's thrilling for me. Where do you stand? You may be asking what could have caused Jessica and Jack to have such a falling out. In fact, it pertains to the photograph that Jessica displayed at our exhibition opening. Jack stood before a cemetery in the photograph. Although it is difficult to tell whose tomb it is, according to Jack, Jessica did not even seek for his permission to take the picture, much less exhibit it. Jack was careful not to disrupt the gallery's ambience. Things were unfolding, but his anger was plain to see. Clearly, the photo captures an intimate moment that ought not to have been viewed by so many people. It is rather evident that Jessica is mistaken here. I am eagerly anticipating their resolution of this matter. Even though he was gone in episode 8, Nathan makes a triumphant comeback in this episode. Powder, his white horse, is a complete misbehavior and a skate artist. He needs Amy's assistance retraining the horse. You know that Amy helps horses, but she also impacts the lives of their owners. I believe we'll learn a lot about Nathan's private life throughout this process. The connection between the horse's difficulties and their owner's struggles becomes clear to her. So, Amy and Nathan will become closer as they attempt to figure out Powder's issue. The season finale may also include an appearance by Nathan, according to the signs. As Amy tends to Powder, Shane's fancy close spots her and expresses her want to ride her during the wedding. This concludes the episode. For tuning in, I am grateful. Episode 10 will include Powder's appearance if Amy treats him, which of course, she does. The inclusion of the horse in episode 10 seems inevitable, considering that I saw a behind-the-scenes photo of Miranda riding the same horse. Nathan will also make an appearance in the season finale as the horse's owner. The very least I can hope for is a kiss or an admission of emotions from one of them. I need anything, please. Just so you know, CBC is quite tight-lipped about anything having to do with episode 10. Usually, we find out the final's name and plot summary weeks before it aired. Nevertheless, we have no information about this year. Episode 10 is when Shane gets married, that's all I know. Nathan will also be present. After episode 9, I'm hoping we'll find out more. It would be absolutely magical if Georgie showed up unexpectedly at Shane's wedding. Although it would come as a complete shock, I do not believe it will occur. Do you can't wait for Miranda to come back? Who else from the cast would you want to see return? Leave a comment and tell me. So guys before winding up remember to like subscribe and thanks for watching.